Hi everyone, um, I just first and foremost want to ask all of you um, how you're all doing. Um, like I said, this is a crazy time in the world and um, um, I'm actually really punctual. I just realized it's three o'clock and I said that I'm going to do this live at three and here I am. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I'm actually um, excited about this live today because I... If you remember last week, I had made um, an announcement and I was talking about the fact that I was working on this campaign with Bon, uh, with bon Viv, Spiked Salsa. And, um, you know, obviously with everything that's happening in the world, it doesn't make any sense. So we decided to use those um, resources to commemorate women um, around the world that are being, you know, that are on the front lines doing some work. So we're taking those resources and you know, making a contribution in these women's lives. And uh, I had asked all of you guys to um, send me nominations of women that you know and their stories. So um, we have four that we want to commemorate this week um, who have incredible stories and I really want to share them with you. I've posted about them and, um, and a little bit about their stories, but I wanted to read, you know, their letters from their nominees. Um, so the first one is Emily <clears throat> and Emily's from Kentucky and she was nominated by her sister Vanessa Ulm and the story is at the precipice of the coronavirus pandemic my APRN sister which is nursing ended maternity leave to return to her job in the ER at the medical center in Bowling Green Kentucky she left her husband her three-year-old daughter a three-month-old baby girl at home while she regularly tests patients for the virus shortly after her return, seeing how rapidly this virus spreads and damages, she and her husband made the incredibly painful decision that distance was the safest option for her family. They packed up essentials and she sent her family across state lines to temporarily live with other family members. She's tired, she's alone, and she desperately misses her family but she still commits of her job of being on the front lines for this pandemic. She's a true rock star. Thank you, Emily, for your selfless sacrifices and for keeping your community healthy and safe during this unprecedented trying times. Your sister, Vanessa. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for sending in um, Emily's story. I feel like it's so wonderful to see and hear that. Um, I think the fact that we all are feeling a sense of... Um, safe is because we know that there are so many people out there who are sacrificing so much to do this for us so thank you so much for your service emily and we hope that with this contribution it could help um somehow you know help you tide this time um the next story is joe she's nominated by jordan garlo um from west virginia this beauty right here is my sister another sister she she's an administrator at a long term care facility. She spends her days tirelessly working to make sure and ensure the health and safety of the patients under her care, but also make sure they're not scared or lonely. She brightens their days with games and dance so that they may understand while visitors are not allowed, they always have family close by. Even though she herself is high risk for COVID-19, she's a severe asthmatic. She shows up every day to provide for others. She's my hero. That's such a beautiful... Um, beautiful story. I'm a severe asthmatic too. And um, I understand by my doctors, I was told exactly this as well. So um, that is incredible. And what a wonderful story. Thank you so much, Jordan, for sending us your sister's story. Um, and I salute you, Joe. Thank you for doing what you do. It's really important for us to find joy in whatever, um, in whatever we have and to be able to feel a sense of normalcy. Um, the third story is Jaya. And Jaya was nominated by Priya Vora from Virginia. And has, I'm nominating my boss, Jaya, who's the founder of Swaha USA for Together Women Rise. She has shown her resilience during this crisis by donating both her time and money to get at least 10,000 plus N95 masks to those on the front lines. 
Now that's another way of being able to contribute. That's an incredible way of using your resources to help people who are actually on the front lines. Thank you so much, Jaya, for your contribution. And Priya, that's very kind of you to send us her story. I hope with our contribution, um, it'll help Jaya's cause um, a lot more. The last story that I'm going to tell you guys today is Jenny. She was nominated by Sami Diaz from New York. And let me tell you about Jenny and why I'm nominating this amazing soul. While pregnant with her third baby, Jenny, Jenny came, ventured and op opened her own business in which she hired me to help manage. Since then, I grew not only to love and admire her for her strength, resilience, but when you think she's done, she does more. Jenny started as one of the largest Facebook communities for her parents at over 10,000 K members and counting. Jenny is my friend and mentor, and I'm not surprised in the scary time she rose to help. In, despite of having four little ones at home, her initiative Feeding Heroes not only provides meals to the community healthcare workers on the front lines of today's pandemic, but also helps and promotes small businesses suffering from the affected economy. Wow. Jenny is a real life superhero and is an example of tenacious community architect. Thank you, Jenny. And thank you, Sami, for sending us um, Jenny's story. That is amazing. And we look for stories like this in such a difficult time to provide for hope. Um, thank you so much to all of you. Thank you, Bon Viv, for being so generous with your contribution. And I really look forward to having this conversation with you next week where um, we can commemorate incredible women that are putting themselves above and beyond um, and doing above and beyond. And uh, it's very important for all of us to remember that we're in this together. This is one world. Um, this is a disease that is affecting all of us and we can only beat it together. So whatever you can do and however you can do it, um, this is a time not to question your intention, but actually to take some action and do something, uh, especially if you're in the position to be able to help. Um, thank you so much. I'll keep coming back and talking to you guys and stay safe out there. Um, you know, stay with your families and keep in touch with people that you love and care about and um, do as much as you can to help the people who don't have it. Thank you so much, guys, and see you next week. Hi, guys. My name is Salman. And this is... Nirvan. Nirvan. हम लोग यहाँ पर आए थे कुछ दिनों के लिए अब हम यहीं पर हैं तो हम लोग तो भाई डर गए करेक्ट करेक्ट तो निर्वाण सोहेल के साबजादे हैं सोहेल के बेटे हैं इन्होंने अपने फादर को कब से नहीं देखा तीन हफ्ते तो हो गए हैं मैंने अपने फादर को तीन हफ्ते से नहीं देखा क्योंकि हम लोग यहाँ पर हैं हमारे फादर अकेले घर पर हैं do you remember the dialogue? जो डर गया समझो मर गया। हम्म। वो यहाँ पर apply नहीं करता। हम लोग डर गए और बड़ी भादुरी से कह रहे कि हम लोग डर गए। आप ज़्यादा ब्रेव मत बनो क्योंकि इसमें do you think any point in being brave in this? No, I think it's better for everyone to stay home, avoid contact, and I think the longer we stay indoors, the faster this ends. जी, तो जो dialogue था, जो डर गया, समझो मर गया, वो यहाँ पर apply नहीं करता है, जो डर गया, समझो बच गया, और उसने बहुत सारे लोगों को बचाया भी। Thank you. Moral of the story, कि हम डर गए थे। नमस्ते अस्सलाम वालेकुम सत्यकाल केम चो मेरा नाम है सलमान खान पहले तो 
उन सब को थैंक यू कहना चाहूँगा मैं जो कि अभी तक के काम कर रहे हैं जैसे कि हेल्थ में काम कर रहे हैं और फिर पुलिस वाले हैं और बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं जो कि हैव डेडिकेटेड देयर टाइम टू कोरोना तो थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच अब अपील ये है ये जो गवर्नमेंट है ये आपके लिए और हमारे लिए हम सब के लिए बोल रही है तो इसको सीरियसली लो अफवाहें मत फैलाओ ये हमेशा से एक प्रॉब्लम है कि सबको ऐसा लगता है कि ये हमारे साथ नहीं होगा ये कोरोना वायरस किसी को भी हो सकता है बस में ट्रेन में मार्केट में हर जगह तो काय कोई पंगे ले रहे हो बाहर जाना ये पब्लिक हॉलीडे नहीं है भाई ये बड़ा सीरियस मामला है ये सब बंद करो मास्क पहनो प्रोटेक्ट करो अपने आप को हाथ धो साफ सुथरे रहो लोगों से दूर रहो ये सब करने में क्या दिक्कत है आपको अगर किसी की जान बच रही है जाने बच रही हैं सैकड़ों जाने बच रही हैं आपकी खुद की तो क्यों नहीं कर रहे हो आप करो यार ये जिंदगी का सवाल है करो ये प्लीज दरख्वास्त है थैंक यू